Hello and welcome to Kelsort's podcast series. My name is Umang Rajwanshi and I will be your host for today. I am associated with Kelsort as a marketing specialist. Today we have with us Chetan Prasad and Pallavi Patel from Kelsort's ATG group. They will be discussing vector packet processing in detail. Chetan is senior technical lead at Kelsort. He is passionate developer processing over 13 years of experience in telecom domain that involve development of 4G servers. He has excellent proficiency in SIP, software lifecycle, agile, etc. Talking about Pallavi, Pallavi is a development engineer at Kelsort, possessing around 3 years of experience. She has majorly worked in the telecom domain and aspires to explore the disruptive domains hugely. Being an excellent team player, Pallavi loves to take up new challenges and devise innovative solutions in no time. It's pleasure to have you both with us today. So let's quickly get started and jump into the topic. So can you just explain what is a vector packet processing? Uh, the vector packet processing platform is an extensible framework that provides out of the box production quality switch or router, router functionality. It is the open source version of Cisco's vector packet processing VPP technology. The technology provides a high performance packet processing stack that can run on commodity CPUs. What is VPP? VPP is Vector Packet Processing Technology. It is very fast, scalable and deterministic. And also here packet will process or runs on a commodity of CPU. That means on number of CPU at a time. Okay. Why it is called uh, Vector Processing? As the name itself implies, VPP uses Vector Packet Processing as opposed to Scalar Processing. That scalar processing is an older and traditional approach uh, of packet processing that entails processing in an interrupt and traversing the call stack. That process then does one of three things, punt, drop or rewrite or forward the packet. Okay, and what is scalar packet processing? Scalar packet processing is a traditional one before using vector packet processing. It is a process a packet at a time. An interrupt handling function takes a single packet from a network interface and process it through a set of functions. Can you provide some more explanation on vector packet processing? See, as told before, a scalar packet processing is a traditional one taking a single packet at a time. To overcome of this, we'll go for vector that is at a time we can process a number of packets. That's what is called as a vector. So, it is the processing of packet, we call it as a vector packet processing. Okay. What are the primary characteristics of uh, VPP? There are uh, uh, many features or characteristics in VPP. Some of them are improved fault tolerance and ISSU when compared to running similar packet processing in kernel. Crashes seldom require more than a process restart. Software updates do not require system reboots mainly. This is one major feature. Development environment is easier to use and perform debug than similar kernel code. And user space debug tools like GDB, Valgrind and Wireshark is much more easier to use in this platform. Leverages widely available kernel modules. That is the DMA safe memory. Okay. Which architectures and operating system it supports? See, it supports x86 architecture, Huawei as well as Marvel. And it supports all the operating system like open source Debian, Ubuntu and CentOS. Okay. How is the programmability in VPP? Is it easy or hard? How can you define that? Uh, the VPP platform provides a very easy uh, uh, way of programming. The VPP technology also provides a very high performance, low level API. The API works via shared memory message bus, not through the kernel. The messages passed along the bus are specified in a simple ideal interface definition language which is used to create C client libraries and Java client libraries. Support for generating bindings in additional languages could be added. These client libraries make it very easy to write external applications that programmatically control VPP. The shared memory message bus approach is uh, provides a very high performance, for example, allowing an external application to program at about 750 kilo routes per second. Okay. Uh, thanks, Chetan and Pallavi. It was a very interesting discussion. Thanks for making VPP easy to understand. With this, it's wrap from our end. For any questions, please write to us at marketing at and stay tuned for our future podcasts. Thank you, Umang. Thank you, Umang. Thank you, Pallavi and Chetan.